Hello to everybody, our dear subscribers. Uh, Future Trend channel is here, and today is uh, 31st of October 2018. And uh, as you could see in the foreign exchange market, the outperformance of the United States dollar uh, still continuing, and that means uh, that uh, at the moment it's really very hard to reverse uh, the situation. And of course, uh, from the point of view of economic logic, everything is really very correct and uh, at the moment the united states dollar is clearly outperform uh, outperforms all other currencies because united states economic situation is much better than uh, comparing to other parts of uh, of the economic world and uh, from this point of view the federal reserve system should continue its uh, current uh, path of uh, uh, rising interest rates even gradually but at the same time, time uh, the first increase, uh, for example, uh, from the part of the Eurozone or uh, Japan, it's uh, really, it's very hard to predict when it really could happen. Probably in the far future, probably in the second part of 2019, we could see the first signs of normalization of the uh, monetary policy from uh, the European Central Bank of the Bank of Japan and today is not an exclude and also yesterday as you could see the um, gross domestic product in the eurozone remained quite weak and uh, the expectation was 0.4 percent of increase on a quarter on quarter basis comparing for example um, much better results in the United States as you as you know uh, some days ago, the United States published its uh, version of uh, uh, gross domestic product and uh, American gross domestic product, and it came at 3.5 percent, that much higher than comparing, for example, to the eurozone. And from that point of view, of course, uh, the United States dollar continued to climb higher against the euro currency. Yesterday it was, uh, and also today, the euro uh, continues to be under the downside pressure, let's say the charts. The euro dollar at the moment trading around 113.43. Of course, uh, there is a kind of uh, more or less strong support around the level 113, the lows of the middle of August uh, this year. Anyway, in case of breaking below that level, it could really accelerate uh, the pressure on the uh, euro because as you could see also here lies important bearer of the um, 200 day uh, moving uh, weekly moving uh, average which uh, uh, located around 113.12 and in case of clear closing below that level especially on the weekly basis it could really accelerate the downside pressure on the euro currency anyway our main idea at the moment is uh, to buy the possible dip to the level of 113.10 with a very close stop below 112.80 probably we could see a small rebound in the euro currency of course depending on the situation uh, during the next couple of sessions uh, the level uh, more or less uh, uh, reliable to the upside located around the immediately uh, immediately uh, down uh, uh, kind of uh, downside uh, downtrend line that's located at 114.85 uh, at the moment only in case of breaking above that line the near term situation could improve a little bit improve for the euro bulls as regarding some other currencies, the dollar yen uh, trading at 113.16, as uh, you know, today is the day of Bank of Japan uh, monetary policy rate decision, and uh, it was a really non event. At the moment, uh, the dollar yen uh, continue to be uh, upside pressured. Uh, that's uh, because, uh, from economic logic, uh, because the United States dollar continue to outperform all other aspects of uh, other uh, currencies uh, and uh, that's uh, really uh, that's really um, let's say correct 
and uh, also the cable which is trading at 127.90 because of the gloomy news from yesterday as you know S&P rating agencies told that uh, the UK economy could fall into recession in case of no deal no Brexit deal between the European Union and uh, United Kingdom till, till the deadline that's scheduled for the end of March 2019 and of course it's uh, not boding well for the cable uh, right now uh, we used uh, yesterday's dip below 127 uh, level to enter a small long position in the currency but we remain quite uh, negative uh, negatively tuned regarding the cable right now uh, because um, the D below uh, the lows of 2018 located at 126.60 okay we could form a kind of double uh, bottom formation against uh, this uh, this line anyway the situation still remains quite fragile and quite weak for the sterling at the moment uh, only a possible break above 128.10 where lies immediately bearish uh, downtrend line and the currency could improve uh, the sentiment for Renata impulse higher uh, for the sterling in the next couple of sessions as regarding the dollar Swiss dollar Swiss also very close to its uh, um, very close to its um, uh, the highs of 2018 um, located at 10068 and break above uh, this level could improve uh, the bullish technical picture and medium to longer term prospects in that case we even could predict a possible retest of the highs of 2070 in the, uh, in the in the dollar swiss uh, that's located around 10335 thank you very much our dear subscribers we wait for you once again tomorrow in the morning the same time now we have to say you bye bye